Is my boyfriend abusive or am I just convincing myself? 27 male and 24 female. Two nights ago I, 24 female, had to call the cops on my, 27 male, boyfriend. He was at the bar in town after a golf tournament with some buddies and we had plans after for a little date night at home. I spoke to him and he said he was gonna be home in a minute. The bar is within walking distance, and I was sitting at the kitchen table waiting for him. He ended up running into an old best friend that night and they ended up mending their relationship over drinks. He came home about 1 hour 45 minutes later, and wasn't answering my texts, calls while he was out. I was reaching out to him about when he thought he would be home since we had plans but he never got back to me. I ended up tucking myself into bed and putting on a show, and was a bit upset he couldn't at least have communicated with me or sent me a text updating me since I was sitting there waiting for him. He got back and could see I was upset. I explained to him I just wish he would have taken two seconds to send me a text explaining he wasn't gonna be available that night anymore, since he was in a deep conversation with his old friend fixing their friendship. Which is literally fine and good for them. Just wanted a quick text update please. Anyways, somehow this conversation escalated into him saying, FCKU, and at that point I was done. Earlier this week he let slide, FUBTCH, as well when he was upset. We have been arguing more the past few months and it seems like he does not even try to restrain himself from calling me names or using the f-bomb. After his, f-u, comment I was just done and got up to pack my things to go to my parents. I went into this small room where I keep my rabbit, and was trying to get her into her travel carrier. My boyfriend followed me in there and was yelling so much it was scaring the rabbit as I was trying to put her in her carrier. This entire process took 15 minutes and my rabbit kept finding new hiding spaces. I asked him multiple times to please leave the room and just give me some space to grab my rabbit. At one point I turned around and he was all of a sudden an inch from my face yelling and it scared the hell out of me and I thought for a second he was going to hit me. I felt very cornered. I told him to go into another room please before I call a police officer to help escort me out of there. That was my first warning about the police. The arguing continued as I finally grabbed my rabbit and went on to grab my clothes. He ended up breaking my clothing storage bin after he threw it twice and I had to drag my clothes to my truck. My last thing to grab was our golden retriever. He knew this and went to grab the dog and held it against him. He then said, well I'm keeping the dog, and I said, no you're not. I say this knowing I have been the only one to ever buy his dog food, treats, his kennel, all of his toys since he has been 8 weeks old leashes, collar, tag, everything. My boyfriend got me the dog as a Christmas present cause I had been talking about it for a while. He couldn't afford all of the dog though so I helped him with one third of it. The dog is registered on AKC with me as the legal owner. I have rarely seen my boyfriend willingly feed the dog breakfast, dinner or morning potty breaks. Three times he has left the dog outside at night and fell asleep and forgot to let him in. Knowing all this, I tried to grab the dog by the collar and get him to safety in the truck with me. He then claimed I was choking him. I let go and decided to finish grabbing my other things and save the dog for last. Finally I was able to call the dog to me without my boyfriend restraining him. I got him in my truck and left the back window rolled down for air while I went to finish grabbing my toiletries. During this, my boyfriend ran outside, unlocked my truck by reaching his hand in the window, and set off the truck alarm. He then ran away with the dog without a leash. The dog needs a leash he's only 9 months old. Eventually the dog ran back, I got him back in the truck and my boyfriend stole him out again, and ran away. He did this out of spite because he didn't want me to take the dog or just didn't want me to leave. Knowing I love the dog more than life and I am the best fit owner for him. Dog ran back again, I got him back in the truck and I got in the driver's seat. I was ready to pull away but my boyfriend then stood between me and closing the door. He would not move out of the way to let me close the door. He claimed he was worried the dog wasn't safe with me, and I wasn't in the right state of mind. He said this because I've been taking antibiotics for an infection. Antibiotics. This is hilarious to me after he just came back from the bar and had 5-6 drinks. I can tell because he had slurred his words a couple times. I asked him to please just back away and let me go as I didn't feel comfortable staying there that night. I said we could talk the next day after things calmed down. He still wasn't backing away so I pulled out my phone and told him I was going to call the police to have an officer escort me out of there. He still wasn't backing away so I called 911.
This scared him and then he backed away and I was able to drive away. I told the cops not to escalate further as he never hit me or anything and it was mostly verbal, besides him throwing stuff and physically putting himself between me and the car door. I told the officer I was calling them as last resort if boyfriend didn't physically let me drive away. My boyfriend claimed I was horrible for calling the cops on him on a domestic and that I was psycho for calling the cops. He tried to convince me I was a nutcase and basically he's done nothing wrong and that I don't love him the right way, mind you. I have let him use my other vehicle after his car broke down, helped him start a business, bought him a ton of kitchen supplies and furniture, and a TV for him and his children. And he says I do nothing for him. Now, two days later I am at my parents' place. Did not tell parents about this yet. Boyfriend is over here today because he's helping my parents with a bathroom remodel that was already started. He does construction, remodels. I feel so bad for my parents if I break up with him before the bathroom is finished. I think I am going to wait until the bathroom is finished to dump him so this situation doesn't affect my parents. What a mess. I am acting like everything is okay right now in front of him but I am secretly planning on the best time to grab the rest of my belongings. Boyfriend also told me he punched my computer monitor screen after I left, cost me $150, and that he was very sorry and he would buy me a new one. He doesn't have money for a new one right now. He said after all this that we need, couple counseling, and in my mind I truly think he needs anger management. I don't even know what to think. You had to call the police on him after he tried to prevent you leaving and threw things at you and you're not sure it's abuse? Honey that's textbook abuse. Don't go anywhere near that man alone again. Once you and a police escort are able to grab your belongings, cut him out of your life. He may not have hit you yet but if you stick around he will. He'll also hurt your pets in order to hurt you. Adding to the chorus. Yes. This is abusive. This is abusive. You know this is abusive. Leave him before he hurts you or your animals. Be careful. If you break up immediately after the bathroom remodel he may hold that against you and it sounds like his temper is no joke. He may even believe your parents were in on it. I think it's best to tell your parents now so that they can make other arrangements to finish the bathroom. I'm a parent. I would be upset if my daughter wasn't truthful. Holy shit. Just leave. This isn't in any way normal. Don't wait for the bathroom either. Your parents wouldn't want you to put yourself in danger for a new bathroom. It might also enrage him further if he realizes you waited to break up until he did the work for your parents. My, 37 per meter. So, 32 per meter, lied and cheated on me with 13 plus people for over a year. What should I do? My, 37M, partner, 32M, and I have been together for over 5 years, sharing many positive experiences from traveling, becoming part of each other's families, moving in together, supporting successful career changes and buying a house together, joint tenancy, a year ago. We have been seriously discussing marriage and children in near future. We've had an open relationship with rules for sex only along with full transparency and disclosure. We arrived at this arrangement mutually, with us both desiring a level of sexual freedom. We primarily only played around together, or so I thought, but the rule was that if it were to happen without the other being there, e.g. if one us was traveling, we would let them know it was happening beforehand. We would also usually exchange pics, videos of said encounter. Us sharing in these experiences, even if physically absent, was part of the deal it was something we both thought was hot and fun. These parameters were very clear. I fully complied by and assumed my significant other was too. For a while now, I've had this weird feeling where I'd ask myself if something might be happening that I didn't know about. But I would always attribute it to my own insecurities, I was cheated on in previous relationship, and remind myself that this amazing, beautiful man would never do that to me. I woke up at around 4 a.m. last weekend and his phone was basically in my face. I wonder if he fell asleep doom scrolling or something. I was overcome by a feeling. It was like the universe was willing me to do it. I punched in his password. I looked. I found literally hundreds of text messages of him sexting with dozens and dozens of other guys. It was overwhelming. I had no idea that was happening. My encounters were strictly pump and dump. I never texted those people unless I was wanting them to come through or something. It got worse. I saw he was sending pics and videos of him in sexual acts in our home and in other places, which I had never seen before. I started searching our address and found he had sent it to quite a few people for encounters and those timestamps were times I was not aware something was happening. 
I also discovered he was having sex with one of his close friends from college who he would often go to visit, in threesome with another guy. I looked at what he texted me during that time and he was just lying the whole day, making jokes about how him and said friend had hired an escort and were having sex with them. I was at home alone during that time wondering why I hadn't been invited to go with him to the friend's place. I was in disbelief. Stunned. I confronted him a few days later and he continued to lie to me during that conversation, claiming that a video was from before we met. He finally confessed that was taken last August, literally the day we put the offer on our house. He estimated he had sex with 13 people behind my back, including the friend and that it had only been happening since March of 2022, which happens to be when his phone had rest. I don't believe any of this. Based on what I saw, I think the number is much higher. I also believe it goes back further but who knows. Anyway, I packed my bags and left. My significant other begged me not to go but I could not stay there. He did offer to get a hotel but I knew my need for space would be extended his office is nearby to our home and I work fully remotely, and have family somewhat close, so it just made more sense for me to leave and him to stay. I'm currently staying with my mother, who is urging me to, stop digging your heels in, and, work this out like adults. She knows he cheated but doesn't know the full story my father cheated on her and left her. So she probably thinks I'm lucky to have the chance to stay with this person or something like that. My significant other is regularly reaching out to me, trying to make things right, and he tells me he's working on himself and signed up for therapy. He keeps apologizing but it's not doing anything for me. What do I do from here? Walk or stay? One day, I want to try and work things out. The next, I want to end things promptly. So, am I just still emotionally processing this? I was living in an illusion for a long time. I don't know if I'll be able to look at my significant other the same way. I'm also not sure I'm even attracted to him anymore. What is he bringing to this relationship? There's no honesty, trust or loyalty. At the same time, I still miss him. How do I go about living arrangements? As owning this home together, which I now regret, makes things complicated. I also can't stay with my mom too much longer I think I've overstayed my welcome. I can afford to rent or buy another place but that seems like a hasty decision right now. I mean if he's cheated with 13 in one year imagine what 5 years can look like. He also didn't feel guilt and tell you about it, you found out on your own. Breakups suck but I think renting an apartment and moving on is best. This is not a person who respects you or the home you have together. What should you do? I give up. I'm sorry, but he's a liar and since he didn't follow the rules of the open relationship a cheater. I'd call it quits and start splitting assets. What do you mean what do you do? You leave him. Unless you want to look like a clown. Why is this even a question? He cheated with 13 plus other people over a year. What you do is leave. If he isn't honest enough to abide by the rules of your open relationship then he isn't honest enough to be in a relationship with you. It's that simple. I, 36M, am unsure about my wife's, 34F, past. My wife and I have been married for 7 years, together for 10. I recently found out that my wife may have cheated sometime in the first two years of our relationship, when we were dating or maybe engaged. I'm fuzzy on the details right now but plan on confronting her for details. Simply put, I got an anonymous message that I should confront my wife about this time period with a little detail that actually makes sense. First, I don't know if cheating happened. But if it did, I don't know if it was emotional, physical, or both. And if it got physical, I don't know how far it got. First base? Second? Home plate? I don't know but what I'm fairly confident is that she has not cheated since. We have three kids, a great life together, and we love each other very much. I'm wondering if I would throw this great life we built together away over this potential mistake if she's been loyal and a great partner since? Like, if it was one kiss and she told him no afterwards, would you forgive that? If it was purely emotional, would that be enough for divorce? Obviously if there's more to this one time, then yeah, divorce papers inbound. But where is the line for when to get the divorce versus staying together? Edit. Wow, I didn't expect this post to blow up as much as it did. I had to step away for work and just now on my lunch break. I appreciate everyone who commented and offered advice, thank you. I do want to clarify a few things since I've seen this come up a handful of times. I love my wife, family, and life we've built. I'm not looking for an exit or a reason to divorce her. The messenger is credible enough because they know specific details that I'm able to confirm, event details, I missed a day, names, etc. 
I have no idea why this message was sent. It could be someone trying to stir up my marriage, have bad intentions or could be someone with guilt and trying to clear their mind. I am fairly confident she hasn't cheated since we've been married. I work from home, she's a stay-at-home mom. We're always together. That's what makes this so hard as if there was a mistake 7-8 years ago, can I forgive it? A kiss and she tell him to back off? Yes, I probably can. Have a one-time hookup? IDK, maybe? That's where this all started. Where is the line to stay together? I do plan on talking to my wife and given the attention this has gotten, I plan on updating everyone. I used the word, confront, in my original post but that word has accusatory connotations. I'm planning this as more of a conversation than confrontation. Thank you again for all of the advice and please keep it coming. I'm reading every comment. You have your wife of 7 years on the one hand and an out of the blue anonymous tip on the other hand with no actual proof. Just a, detail that makes sense. You need to talk to your wife and start with, listen, I got this really odd message about you that I'd like to discuss with you. Where did you get the message from? What makes you think it's remotely legitimate? Why would you give it any weight? If you are happy and had zero suspicions before. If someone is contacting you, it was either extremely serious cheating or it's an ex trying to fuck with you. Confront and judge based on the conversation. Don't walk in with too many assumptions. Reverse search the phone hash and cross-reference your wife's friends or contacts and see if there's any mutuals. I'm just here wondering how so many commenters have the opinion. Well if you can hide cheating for long enough then it doesn't count. Think a lot of people are telling on themselves in the comments. Yikes. My, 23F, boyfriend, 28M. Doesn't want to get married and I'm pregnant, how long do I wait? My, 23F, boyfriend, 28M. And I have been dating for over two years now. For some context, last year I moved across the country with him as he is in the military and got stationed in a new place. I changed schools for him so I could be with him. At the time, I thought we talked about getting married and were on the same page. He says now that we never talked about it before moving. Anyways, so about a year into me being here with him we find out I'm pregnant at five weeks along. He is extremely distraught about this. He wanted me to get an abortion pretty badly. He was laying on the floor crying about it more than once, that's how upset he was when I said I wanted to keep the baby. Flash forward to when I'm 13 weeks along and we had been fighting quite a bit, but he accepted that the baby is coming and that he was going to be a dad. I thought he was getting excited about it. Now he says he's got a mixture of emotions. The other day he told me, you're not allowed to have any more children or pets without my permission, context. I rescued a stray dog off the street earlier in the year but we made a mutual decision to keep it. I said well I want more kids but we will be on the same page as to when. He said he might get a vasectomy. Culturally and personally, it is very important to me that I get married. I have a very strong preference that I get married to him before the baby comes. I had been wanting this for a while now, even before the baby. Today I asked him why he doesn't want to get married, and he basically put the blame on me. He said I don't understand him, he feels underappreciated, and he's unhappy. I've been doing my best to make him happy. I clean the house all day, I do the shopping, I make him food, I ask him how his day was. Sometimes I get upset because he works a lot of hours, he's a resident doctor. But I always tell him I'm not upset at him, just the circumstance. We've been in couples therapy since April and I thought we were getting better but I feel like we are back at square one because of this major issue he doesn't want to get married and it causes a lot of arguments. At what point do I say we are incompatible because of this issue and just pack up and leave? Too long did not read. My boyfriend and I have been together for over two years, I'm now 18 weeks pregnant with his baby. He does not want to get married and says he is unhappy. I had been wanting to get married for over a year. At what point should I say we are not compatible because of this issue and leave? You don't wait. He's already told you he doesn't want what you want. You need to go make plans now for yourself and your baby. You should have waited for marriage before moving and getting pregnant. You moved across the country and switched schools to chase this man and he doesn't even want you. He made no commitment to you. He told you he didn't want the baby. He has made himself clear. He's not going to marry you and he's not going to be around to be a father. You've been cultivating some fantasy in your head about what was going to happen but this is reality. He's not going to marry you. He does not want the baby. Make your next steps off on that. Was you getting pregnant an accident or did you do it on purpose because you thought it would make him marry you? It sounds like you've wanted to get married for a long time. 
Either way it's obvious that your boyfriend doesn't want to marry you and doesn't want this baby. Your child is going to be born into a mess whether you leave or not. This should have been an in-depth discussion a long time ago. Like early dating long. These are major incompatibilities and need to be discussed before a serious relationship or pregnancy occurs. I'm sorry for your situation. But there's nothing you can do. You need to respect his wishes. I'd suggest moving back home so your family can help with the baby, and you leave him alone. He's made his stance on this clear. You can't change it. 